Hello lovelies, welcome back to another clothing haul slash what's new in my wardrobe video. I've got some Mango H&M and ASOS pieces for you today, plus something from Tommy Hilfiger that I picked up recently, and there might be a few other things that I will mention as I realise that they're new. I've been doing a lot of shopping lately. Let's start with Mango. The first item that I want to talk about is this pair of, I guess they're camel, trousers they are kind of like smart joggers and those are the sort of things that i want to keep bringing into my wardrobe now i want these kind of casual pieces but with a polished edge i think these will be really really nice for work especially in spring so that's the way that i've kind of styled them here i've styled it with quite a slim fitting cream cashmere knit i do feel that if the knit was a little bit more oversized this look might work a little bit better but my oversized knits are actually in the laundry at the moment so i went with this i've also styled it with my gold Monica Vinader necklace because I just felt like the jumper needed a little bit of breaking up. These white shoes from Primark, I actually got them from Vinted I think, um, they were brand new. <laughs> I've got a bit of a thing about secondhand shoes but I gave these a good clean and they did still have labels on as well when I bought them. Um, but I really like how these look with these trousers, I've actually found them quite hard to style so these are the perfect piece to go with them. And then I've also got these gold earrings which I'm going to talk about when we come to the ASOS portion of the video. If you are short like me, then you may find that you have to roll up the cuffs a little bit. They actually already have like an overturned cuff detail on them, but I've had to roll them up like three times more <laughs> to get them to sit at the right point. And so they are looking quite nice, I think, with these shoes. They have this kind of visible seam detail, which I'm not usually a fan of. I always think it makes your clothes look like they're inside out, but I do actually really like it on these. I feel like this will be a really nice look for the office, and that's what's making me really want to keep them because. I don't really have anything to wear for spring to the office because it's been, it feels like it's been winter forever. It's quite a sunny day today, but the light doesn't seem to be coming into my room that much. So I'm sorry if the lighting's a bit weird, but this is kind of the top that started off this whole haul, really. I saw an influencer whose name I can never remember. Is it Sophie Milner? Or is that a different Sophie? I think it is a Sophie something, but I'll put a picture of her here. She's always coming up on my Pinterest and my YouTube shorts. And she's just got very beautiful style, but she did a short of like a load of mango pieces. And this was one of the first pieces she styled. And I just fell in love with it. And I fell in love with a lot of the pieces that she styled, but I couldn't afford to get all of them, unfortunately, because we're not all influencers. But this is just very, very me. Like I love this minimalist style. I love a contrast trim. That's a design detail that I've just always been a really big fan of. Um, and I styled it with the same trousers that you saw a minute ago. So two mango pieces together. And I think it works really, really well. I've also styled it with my new Tommy Hilfiger flats. Now these are beautiful. They have this gorgeous, very discreet logo detail at the heel. And then they are just a very classic leather I was going to say a court shoe, but I think they tend to have a heel, don't they? Like a pump, I suppose. I love wearing ballet flats for work, but I wanted something with a pointed toe just to look a little bit more elevated. I feel like it looks more expensive. And my Ted Baker ballet pumps were looking quite sad. They've been quite overworn. These are actually so, so uncomfortable. So I've been trying to get into the habit of wearing them around the house to try and loosen them up a bit. They are leather, so I feel like eventually leather kind of moulds to your feet a little bit, doesn't it? I might be completely making that up, but I feel like eventually they will get a bit more comfortable. But I I do think they work really really well with this look. I think it's really sophisticated, elegant, classy look. If you are wanting to achieve a more elegant or a classy look on a budget then I think Mango is a really really good brand to go for and also H&M. I'm going to show you a couple of H&M pieces in a minute and they're really really good for basics like this top. I think this is such a good basic but with a little bit of a twist with the contrast detail which um, I'm a really big fan of. I love basics with a twist. That's like my mantra whenever I'm shopping for basics. We have a problem. Rosie is rolling around, huffling and snuffling in her bed, um, making lots of noise. That's not the problem, but sorry if you can hear it. The problem is I tried this dress on the other day and I didn't like it. The one side was too short, it's asymmetric, and my bra wasn't covered properly, which meant the cutout detail didn't sit properly, so I was gonna return it. I've just tried it on with a different bra for the video and I really like it. <laughs> the bra is perfect, so now the cutout detail sits where it should sit, which means I can pull it down a little bit on this side, meaning that it is now not too short on that side. And I think my butt looks really, really good in it, 
which is unusual for me. I'm not usually a fan of my butt. So I'm in a bit of a pickle because I haven't budgeted for this dress because I was going to return it. So I don't know what to do. The only thing that's making me think maybe I should still return it is I don't really know what it's for. I bought it for my beach holiday thinking it would be nice to wear in the evening to dinner, which I think, yeah, that would look amazing. But I don't go on beach holidays that often. So where am I going to wear it once I get back to England? Is it really... Does it need to be in my wardrobe just because it makes my butt look good? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, but anyway, I've styled it with this pair of low heels from H&M. Not part of the haul. Um, I've had them a while. I've shown them to you before. But just a really good basic heel to have in your wardrobe. I think a slingback, a low slingback is really nice for pretty much every occasion. I'm still wondering as well if it is a little bit short on the one side. Um, but obviously you have the tassel detail, so it does still kind of cover. And um, it's just when you're walking, I guess, that it might be noticeable. Oh, why is it so nice? It was horrible the other day. <laughs> it just shows what difference a good bra can make. Oh, guys, the more I look at this dress, the more I want it. I feel like Jennifer Aniston. Oh, I can't really afford it. But isn't it? My mirror needs a clean, I'm really sorry about that. Look how good my butt looks! Oh, my oh there's the doggies as well in the background. Hey, baby Pepper! Oh, oh, you want tummy rub? Oh, my gorgeous little girl. Oh, you are such a big fluff ball. And you, you are just a snoozy butt, aren't you? little snoozy dog. So this is my bra. <laughs> this dress, shush racy toes, this dress is very clearly not made for big boobs. <laughs> Sometimes when I go shopping I forget what body type I am. I think I'm about 10 inches taller, about a stone lighter, and I forget that I have boobs and a bum. Rosie what's the matter? I think they heard someone outside and they think that my husband's come home. Because when he's away, you think that he's never coming back, don't you? Even though he always comes back, he does. The story behind this dress is I was watching one of Victoria McGrath's Fashion Week vlogs. I can't remember which one it was. I think it might have been Milan, actually. Um, and she was wearing a dress, a midi dress, in this gold plissé style. And I thought it was really, really beautiful. So I went on... It, hers was more of, like, a bardo. So I went on the hunt for a more affordable version and I found this one on ASOS from Topshop. It's a real shame that this neckline is just never gonna work for me because I actually love the length. I think it hits at just the perfect point which is very unusual for me because with dresses they're always either too long or just that little bit too short for me because I go for a midi hoping to wear it as a maxi dress and I just put up with it but this one it just hits just right. It's so, so beautiful, but obviously you can't really see that from these try-on clips because my bra is just completely on show. I will try to hide it as much as I can for you, but I do still want you to see how the dress fits. So if you are bigger busted and you are happy to go braless, which I am sometimes, but not for the style, um, I would be just be a bit too worried about everything just falling out. So yeah, I, I think you would have to go braless or go for like a stick-on kind of bra, but I think generally this is going to suit you better if you have smaller boobs. So smaller boob ladies, Go and get this dress because I think it is really, really lovely and it would be so, so nice to wear on a summer holiday in the evening for dinner or even just out exploring. Like if you're going somewhere like Italy, I feel like you could wear this very easily just in the daytime. I wore some very over the top dresses <laughs> when I went to Italy and um, was very, very comfortable and didn't feel like people were staring at me like they probably would be here in England. This is the dress that I was expecting to fall in love with. Um, this necklace isn't really working, let's tuck it in. This is from Pretty Lavish. The dress with the tassels is from Pretty Lavish as well. I just don't think it really suits my body shape. I don't know what it is about this off shoulder style because I like completely off the shoulder but I don't like where one shoulder is covered and one is out. I don't know why, I just don't think it suits me that well. But I thought this would be a really great little summer dress. Um, I've been looking more at black sundresses because I do love wearing black and I always feel like I can't really style it properly in summer. So this I thought would be a good choice. I do think it's a nice dress, I just don't think that it looks that good on me. I have been styling these dresses all with the same pair of H&M slingbacks and I think they go really really well with all of them. Again, I was thinking of wearing 
wearing this for my beach holiday. I don't know why I've bought so many clothes for my beach holiday because I'm literally there for three nights. <laughs> I'm not gonna need this many dresses and I already have some really beautiful dresses in my wardrobe. Guys, don't get too excited. I made a bikini again. Woo! It's always quite hard for me to show you bikinis because obviously I don't want to like be indecent and my boobs are quite big so it's hard to appear in a bikini and not look indecent. Um, but this is the black version of an Unsummer's bikini that I showed you in my swimwear and beachwear haul and I loved it so much and it was such a good fit so I decided to get it again in black because I wanted a black bikini anyway. I love the gold detail. I think Anne Summers swimwear is just so so beautiful. Some of it is a little bit too raunchy, like some of it is quite exposed, um, but these are just very very basic bikinis but with this just very nice elevated design detail. It's in kind of like a balcony bra detail. I always think the best bikinis, especially for those of us with a bigger bust, are the ones that are basically like bras but that you can swim in. I never understand when, if, even if you've got small boobs, I don't understand why bikinis come in like 10, 12, 14. It doesn't make any sense to me because you would never have a bra. No matter who it's designed for, you would never have a bra in regular clothing sizes. You would always have them in proper bra sizes. So I don't understand why we do that with bikinis because they are essentially bras. Anyway, I've styled it with a white shirt that I'm gonna come onto in a moment. This is from H&M. Um, but let me just show you the bikini bottoms. I got the white version of these a while back. Um, they don't actually fit really anymore because I've lost quite a bit of weight since I did that haul. Um, so I do need to replace those, unfortunately. But I figured these would be exactly the same. And I'm not even gonna try them on because I can see that I'm gonna hate them. They're really, really high leg. I hate that style, I think it's so ugly. I don't understand why it's such a big trend. I think it's, I just think it's disgusting. I don't think anyone looks good in it. Um, and it just reminds me of like Borat <laughs> in his mankini. I don't understand. I think it's so much nicer to have just a proper bikini brief, like a, like a Brazilian style, I think is what they call them, like Brazilian briefs. That's what I like for my underwear, that's what I like for my bikini bottoms. I don't like this horrible high leg thing. Like, I just think it's gross. Am I being a bit over the top? I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's really not for me. So I'm not even gonna try this on. I'm just gonna send these straight back. But I did have a pair of black bikini bottoms in that haul from New Look um, and they will work absolutely fine with this bikini. Before we move on, I just wanna show you the earrings that I told you I would talk about earlier. So these are also from ASOS. I didn't actually get them in this delivery. I got them a while back and I've been wearing them all the time, they are my new favorite everyday earrings. I think they are kind of Bottega inspired and they actually felt quite heavy when I first got them but I've got used to them now and I just love them. I think they're so, so lovely. I just love gold jewelry. Never used to be a gold jewelry person, I was always a silver person but gold drop earrings are like my signature now. Let's talk about the shirt. This is from H&M. It's linen, so it is a little bit see-through, so I've worn it with the white version of the Anne Summers bikini that I just showed you. I really, really like how it looks. I just wish that I could do that thing that girls with smaller boots can do, where they have it like more unbuttoned so you can see the bra, but I just feel like it looks a bit indecent on me. Like it looks all right when I'm looking in the mirror and stuff, but then obviously as soon as I move, everything just flies out. I feel like it looks so much more like prim if it's buttoned up. So I'm trying to like flare it out here at the top. In fact, the collar's tucked in. Yeah, so yeah, I don't know. Um, but I've tucked it into a pair of shorts which are also from H&M. I have never been a shorts girl, but I really like how these look. I think it does help that I've been to the gym a lot lately. So I'm feeling a lot better about my legs. I never used to like my legs, but I like the, um, length of these, they're not like booty shorts. I like that there's a little bit of a cuff and I just feel like they are just a lot more comfortable than a lot of shorts that I've styled in the past. I always end up sending shorts back when I order them but I decided to keep these. I thought they would be really good for summer because I never have my legs out in summer so I want to like try and get into the habit of having my legs out so I do get a bit of a tan. I'd like to have a little bit of a tan before I go on my holiday this year. Hi lovelies, it's me in my living room at night with my makeup having fallen off my face because I've just finished editing my haul and I can see that the final clip didn't record properly. So um, no matter, I thought I would just quickly record it now. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments which was your favorite item from this haul and I will see you in the next one. Bye.